example, we have the reaction between ammonia and oxygen to produce molecular nitrogen and water. Um, notice I do have a balanced chemical equation, so always check to make sure that your equations are balanced. So my first question is, how many moles of water can be produced when 0.56 moles of oxygen are reacted with excess ammonia? Now this is very important, this uh, wording. Um, we're being asked how much water can be produced when we react 0.56 moles of oxygen with excess ammonia. That means that the ammonia is in excess, so it's never going to be completely reacted. We have plenty of ammonia, but we are limited by the um, oxygen. So our oxygen gas then would be what we call our limiting reactant or our limiting reagent. So let's take a look here at how to do this problem. First, um, this is uh, simple stoichiometry. So we want to relate oxygen to um, water. Okay, so the oxygen to the water. So let's write out our mole ratios. So we have three moles of oxygen for six moles of water. And I can also write it the other way, six moles of water for three moles of oxygen. So I'm given 0.56 moles of oxygen. And I want to relate oxygen to the number of moles of water. So I'm going to use um, conversion factor number two here. So we have six moles of water for three moles of oxygen. And let's go ahead and calculate this. Let's see, we have point, whoops, 0.56 times 6 divided by 3. So we get 1.12 moles of water. So when we react 0.560 moles of oxygen with um, excess ammonia, we get 1.12 moles of water vapor. Um, actually, we'll find out a little bit later that's not, um, this is not exactly true when you do the experiment in the lab. What we're calculating here is what we call a theoretical yield. Uh, theoretically, if the experiment is perfect and everything goes well, when we react this much oxygen with excess ammonia, we should get 1.12 moles of water. But in reality, we might get a little bit less, and that's due to experimental error, um, you know, uh, temperature fluctuations. And now let's take a look at the second problem. This one's a little different. Again, be careful. Again, make sure you read the problem carefully. So here I'm asked how many moles of molecular nitrogen can be produced when 4.62 moles of ammonia is reacted with 3.24 moles of oxygen. So we're using the same uh, balanced chemical equation here. So now we have 4.62 moles of ammonia and 3.24 moles of oxygen. How much nitrogen is produced? Well, um, here's the problem. How or which one of these is our limiting reactant? One of these is going to limit us as to how much product we can actually produce. Um, it's like, for example, if I have that um, automobile factory, right? We know that we need four tires plus one steering wheel will give us one car, okay? So let's say I have, um, let's say I have 64 tires, okay? And let's say I have three steering wheels. All right, well, how many cars can I make? I can only make three. So my steering wheels are my limiting reactant, so to speak doesn't matter if I have 164 tires or 500 tires. If I only have three steering wheels, I can only produce one car, no more than that. Well, it's the same in chemistry. 
Um, you know, we have our uh, reactants, and one of the reactants, unless we're really careful and measure out the exact amounts that would be needed, but in, that, in most cases that doesn't happen. Uh, there, so in that case, then, we're going to have a limiting reactant. So we have to figure out what that limiting reactant is. So here's how we do this. We proceed with the problem. Um, first, what we would do is uh, we would start with the 4.62 moles of ammonia, okay? And we go ahead and write out the mole ratios because we're being asked how much uh, nitrogen is produced. So we'll go ahead and start out with the ammonia, and we have 4.62 moles. So let's write out the mole ratio for the ammonia and the nitrogen. So we have 4 moles of ammonia to 2 moles of nitrogen, or we can write 2 moles of nitrogen to 4 moles of ammonia. So what we do is we'll go ahead and figure out how much product we could make um, using the 4.62 moles of ammonia. Okay, so that would be um, how much product we would produce from that. So 4.62 moles of ammonia. And I'm going to go ahead and use number 2 here. And so we have 2 moles of nitrogen for every 4 moles of ammonia. Moles of ammonia cancel out. And let's see, I got uh, 4.62 times 2 divided by 4. So I would produce 2.31 moles of nitrogen. Now, let's, uh, let's take a look and see what happens when I use the 3.24 moles of oxygen. So let's see, I should write out the mole ratios uh, for oxygen to nitrogen. So we have 3 moles from the balanced chemical equation, 3 moles of oxygen to 2 moles of nitrogen. Or I can write 2 moles of nitrogen or 3 moles of oxygen. And let me just go ahead and um, circle this. And now I can just go ahead and work the problem as I normally would. So this time I'm going to use uh, 3.24 moles of oxygen. And then I'll use um, conversion number 2. So we have 2 moles of nitrogen or 3 moles of oxygen. And let's see, 3.24 times 2 divided by 3, that would be 2.16 moles of nitrogen. Okay, so if we take a look at the first calculation, if we react 4.62 moles of ammonia, okay, we would end up with 2.31 moles of nitrogen. If we react 3.24 moles of oxygen, we end up with 2.16 moles of nitrogen. So in this case here, my limiting reagent is going to be my oxygen. I've only got 3.24 moles of oxygen. So I can't produce any more than 2.16 moles of nitrogen. So in order to react all of this uh, ammonia, okay, I would need more oxygen. So in this case, the correct answer then would be 2.16 moles of nitrogen.